Windows 11 23H2 is here, officially. And that's why today I will show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 23H2 on an unsupported laptop. Unfortunately, not all laptops and PCs work stably on Windows 11. In this case, you have an opportunity to go back to Windows 10 from Windows settings. So, let's get it started. And here we go, fellas, we are in Windows 10. Right now I will show you the version of Windows 10. So I will click on the right mouse button and I will select system. Scroll down a little bit. As you can see, I have Windows 10 Pro 22H2 version. Let's move forward. Now we need to open browser. For the example, I will open Microsoft Edge browser. If you have Chrome browser, that's okay. Double click. Then you need to type next. Windows. 11 download and press enter and then in the top you may see microsoft official website so you need to click on it that's it microsoft.com and look at this current release windows 11 2023 update version 23 h2 yep it's finally happened microsoft released 23 h2 version officially so let's move forward how to upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 23 h2 version and moreover save all data applications etc because it is very important so for this we need to scroll down a little bit until you will see a download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Then you need to click on select download, click here and select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for x64 devices. Click here, scroll down a little bit and choose download now. Wait a sec. The thing is, many people are confused because after they selected the current language, for the example English, they still cannot save all files, applications, etc. Very important and at the same time simple moment because we need to select our language. But here it is, you need to select the current version of your operating system. So if in the past you selected French, Ukrainian or even Norway version of Windows, but then you change the language to English in the settings, it will not work that way. For example, if the current version was Ukrainian, I need to select Ukrainian and it doesn't matter that I change it to English because firstly it was Ukrainian. So again, one more time, you need to select the current version and not the existing version if you want to save all your files, applications, etc. So I will select English United States, click confirm and voila, now we can download Windows 11 ISO. So I will click 64-bit download. Friends, as you can see, downloading process begin. In this case, we just need to be patient and wait until file will be downloaded on our laptop or PC. If you take a close look, you may see that it takes 6.2 gigabytes of space, which is actually larger than the previous 22H2 version. So yep, this is the first thing that I noticed. I successfully downloaded Windows 11 23H2 version on my laptop, and now we can open the folder. Click show in folder and of course now you can close the browser. Here we have an ISO file but if we want to upgrade an unsupported computer to Windows 11 23 to version we need to bypass Microsoft system requirements. So for this we need to copy this link. Link I will leave in the video description and one more time we need to open our browser, paste the link, press enter. You will navigate to Google Drive and you will see this text document. In this case, you need to click on download icon right here. I succeed. We can open the folder, close the browser. Now we need to open this text document, double click on it, navigate mouse cursor to the upper left corner, click on the file, then select save as. You need to change the type of the file to all files, then click on file name and type .cmd. It is very important to type .cmd and click save. Now you can without a doubt close the text document and here you may see a new file, Windows 11. So you need to double click on it, select yes. In this situation, you do not need to press any button, so be patient and take your time. That's all. After this, you can run Windows 11 ISO. Click on it, select open, 
In this folder, we need to find Setup option and open it. In this window, we just need to click on Next. As you can see, it's automatically checking for the latest updates. And finally, you will be able to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. So you need to accept all agreements and terms. Click on Accept. As I previously said, now you can select option Keep Files, Settings and Application. That means you will save all application from your desktop, all files, etc. But for this, you need to select the current version before you want to download it. Because if you will select the wrong language, you will not be able to select this option. So keep that in mind. Then you need to click on Next. One more time, we see the same message that it's checking for the latest updates. Important information, you won't be able to use your PC during installation. Save and close your files before you begin. So be sure to close all applications. You may see that we will install Windows 11 Pro and keep our applications and data. Click install. This process may take some time, so of course you need to be patient and take your time. Moreover, your machine may restart several times, so don't worry about that. Do not press anything and of course do not turn off your machine, it is very important. After that window, you will see this info working on updates. Don't turn off your computer. So as I previously told you, do not shut down the power. And finally, here we are in Windows 11 23H2 version. So I will show you that it is for real 23H2. I will click on the rightmost button, select system, scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, this is Windows 11 Pro 23H2, the latest build. Also, if you don't like Windows 11, you have an option to go back to Windows 10. And for this, you have only 10 days. So to go back to Windows 10, you need to click on the system, then scroll down a little bit until you will find a recovery option. Click here, then you will see go back. If this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 10. One more time, I want to remind you, you have only 10 days to go back to Windows 10. For this, you need to click on go back, getting things ready. Actually, you can check any of these boxes. It's not so important. Then click on next. Then you will see this message, check for updates. Before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problem you're having. So if you don't have any problems, you can just click no thanks. If you have some problems, you can try to check for the latest updates. In my case, I will select no thanks. Important info, what you need to know, this might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. Leave your PC plugged in and turn on. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. you lose any changes made to settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. I also recommend you to do some backup before going back to Windows 10. Then you can click on next. If you used a password to sign into Windows 10, make sure you know it. Actually, I don't have any password. I will click on next. Thanks for trying Windows 11. Go back to Windows 10. After hold this process, your system will restart and you will be able to use Windows 10 again. If you found this video helpful, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to activate Copilot in Windows 11.